Hey, look at that. This is looking good. Got the lift kit pretty much done. So what's up guys? Today we are going to paint the cage finally. I got off work early enough, so let's let's do it. Let's get it done. This is the color we're going with. It's gloss dark gray. So we uh, shall see. Before we start painting the cage, I just wanted to wash the tires because they do got dirt on them and I don't want the tire riding to fade. Like I want it to stay white. So I'm I'm not 100% sure on how it, what causes it to fade. So I'll just wash it real quick. Just spray it down. Hopefully that helps. All right guys, first step, let's take these seats out. Alright, so we got the seats out. I had to take the steering wheel off because there's something in the way right there. I couldn't push the seat back far enough, so the steering wheel had to come out. And now I've got to sand the metal of the cage. And then uh, I'll start taping everything off and we'll prep. And then we'll, we'll get started. Alright guys, so I didn't have sandpaper at home. So we here at Home Depot. We're going to go pick some up. Alright, so we're looking for 400 grit sandpaper. I don't see any. That's not good. We got what we needed, so now we can start sanding the cage, which is gonna be very boring. This will not be a good time, but it has to be done. All right guys, we got her all sanded. So now I'm going to start covering everything. Going to cover the floor, the dash, uh, the sides up in here need to be covered. Just every, everything, really, pretty much. All right, guys, we're making progress. It looks like a mess. Still trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to get this up so I can get get those and then run it down there and all that crap. The hardest part and what's taking so long is doing stuff like this. It's just, I had to do it on that side too. I did it back there, back there. And then I gotta do there and there. That has a bunch of surface rust because it rained. And I sort of have a, uh, I guess a leak somewhere over here, water gets in. So, and when I bedlined it, I sort of had that not I had that taped off on accident because I was worried about the ECU so I'm gonna tape off and then redo that bed liner and then we should be good there all right guys we're looking good it's time to start painting so I'm not too worried if I overspray because I'm gonna redo the bed liner down there because I only have one coat so I'm gonna put another coat on and I didn't even really get up here on the sides or anything so there's still work to do there, but I just want to get the cage painted just so it looks better and so it doesn't get any more surface rust. Alright guys, so we got one coat down. Sort of, uh, sort of oversprayed in quite a few places. But I'm not too worried about that because I am going to redo the bed liner here. Well, it's not really redo, but add more coats because it's just got one coat. So I want to put like two or three. So that'll get redone after the cage is painted. But I want to get the cage painted because I was getting surface rust. And that, that was not okay. So now, now we got it painted. Now she's looking good. Can't wait to be done though. This is... This is a, a bitch and a half trying to overspray as little as possible. It is, it is not, not the most fun. So some advice that I would like to give to anyone who wants to do something like this, either put a cage in themselves or paint a cage themselves or paint their car, whatever. Get, get at least two people. It just makes it so much easier. I, I don't have access to another person right now, 
so I doing this by myself. That's why I sort of half-ass prepped. I didn't really. But again, if I want, if the bed lining was already done, then I would have taken it more seriously. I would have taken spent more time prepping because this, just this alone, was almost three hours of prepping, which sucked. Prepping is so boring. It, it when you do it right though, like it comes out really good. But God, it's boring. It's so boring. <laughs> I don't like it. So yeah, so the cage won't look the greatest up close. It'll look okay. I mean, I like it. I like it how it is. I just as long as there's no more surface rust, because that looks bad. See, like that looks pretty good. I think this will look really good when it's done. Just look at that. It looks so good. I'm happy, dude. I'm hyped. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for multiple reasons. One is because it's a bitch. I don't know why it's got all that. Oh, you can't even see it. It's got like little, almost like some fuzz stuff just sitting on top of it. So I don't know what's going on there. You guys just finished coat number two. Looks the same. Obviously, not a whole lot has changed. Probably a little more overspray. But I like it. I think she's looking good. I can't wait to see how this looks when I redo the bed liner. So it'll, the contrast will be more. It'll probably look good even when I take all this shit out. I need to get those pads too to go over here. I might get a pool noodle and cut it, slip it on, zip tie it, but I don't know if that's too fat. We'll see. We'll try it. We'll see how it looks. But I am just fucking loving this. This looks so fucking good, guys. Oh my god, dude. This is a fucking bitch getting some parts like up there. It's a bit of a bitch. There. It's also a bitch. Down there, that area is a bitch. Can you fucking go, Mr. Plane? But yeah, down there is a bitch. There's quite a, the amount of overspray. There's overspray over there. There's overspray there. There's fucking overspray up there. There's overspray down there. Same on the other side. But that's okay. That's not a big deal. Because, I mean, I was rocking this. I was too lazy and I didn't take the speakers out. So I just sort of half-assed taped it off. So both sides have been like that. <laughs> but I'll, I'll do it right when I bedline it. Because it's easier to mask off the cage than fucking everything else. Hey guys, your boy got hungry. So we're gonna, we gonna get some food real quick. McDonald's. Hi, can I get two McDoubles? So I just put coat number three on her. While she's drying, my passenger seat, it sat a little too close to the door. So you would hit your head, your head would rest against the cage up there. So I got my custom made seat bracket and I'm just gonna slot the holes that way so we can give some adjustment. Alright guys, so I got the passenger seat done, moved it over. I will be able to test it until tomorrow because I'm gonna let this thing dry overnight. I got all the coats on that I needed. It's got four coats, so I think that's pretty good. Just let it dry now. And I decided I wanted to bed liner the mirrors, so I did this one. But I gotta do this one. So we'll do that right now. Alright guys, so I let her dry for a few hours. So I'm gonna start taking all the crap off. I think I got enough coats on the mirrors. I think they'll come out pretty good. And then dry it. let her dry overnight. And hopefully she still looks good.
What do you think, guys? I think she came out fucking beautiful. I mean, for me, I think I did okay. Not the greatest, of course. There's some, uh, there's overspray up there and, and such other places. I still have to do that mounting plate down there with bed liner, which I'll do tomorrow because I got to redo the bed liner now or add coats, whatever, same thing. But man, I am loving it. Oh, it's so nice. So nice. The cage is finally done. Finally done. For now. There's a few more things that I'd like to do. I'd like to put a piece going from here to there to help this area, help strengthen this area. That's a very important part. Do the same on the other side. And then honestly, other than that, uh, I'd like to put an X between the two bars going down and then who knows maybe another x somewhere else i don't know yet but i mean for right now we're looking good i like it i'm hyped and these i got all the coats on that i want i have like five or six coats on it so i'll take the tape off and then we'll call it good we'll call it a night so if you like this video you know leave a like Check out my other videos on a roll cage. I have like six other ones. Uh, the whole process of doing a roll cage yourself. It's uh, a grueling one month process for your average 19 year old with a welder. So yeah, go check those out. And you know, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.